Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Uh, we finished Act 3 this afternoon. So now we're going straight to Act 4. Uh, I heard a little bit about what's going on in Act 4. It's going to be really big. Especially the law drop about reconstructing the ley lines from the last Act 3. So yeah, I might as well finish it today, the same day. And I'm gonna be sleeping very late today. <laughs> it's literally 12 o'clock, uh, midnight. <laughs> but yeah, I have no other time to play this, so I better finish this right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Act 4, let's begin. I, I just wanna read this again. After several two sentences, you understand Captain's plan to reconstruct the ley lines and go to Mavika, okay. Um, how do I say this? I am not using Traveler because if you remember what happened last time, it didn't go well. <laughs> so I'm just using my Netland characters. So let's go. Let's ride. There is that. Wait, that is the speaker's chamber. Some of we care about the captain's intentions. I think it was Chaska and Kuichi, right? That uh, saw what actually is going on. Oh no, no, we and Sitlali got Ororon's memories. Right, right, right. Now remember. Alright, here we go. <coughs> Malika! Traveler, Paimon Sitlali. Perfect timing. I've located the captain. Oh, really? That's great! We also just took a peek at Auroran's memories and discovered something huge! Oh, uh, oh, with his granny's permission, of course. Or no, actually it was... A uh, calm down, Paimon. I'll take it from here. Right. Some big law drop is happening here. <coughs> so the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. This is Kanria stuff. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes. It's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within the current ley lines. Very similar to the price of using a Gnosis. If he activates the That's mechanism, why. it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. So we have to just stop him. What, what forces do we have? Kanich, Shilonan, you two, and myself. All other warriors are working to push back the Abyss on the front lines. But that's barely any people! Not to mention, you lost your power, and they've got the captain on their side! Oh, well, maybe we really should get Lolly to break Oron's leg. <laughs> Damn it. That won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the Masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Seat Lolly, I was hoping you could head back and help defend the tribe. Alright. I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. Just a few of us to battle new. I don't think it's enough. I'll leave him to you all then. <sighs> Alright. Back to the matter at hand. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. So what's Let me grab Shilonin and Kanich, then I'll tell you my idea. Okay. Kanich has no voice, I remember, so As you all know. Auroron is working with the captain and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that <clears> shouldn't <throat> deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element, the source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and then success is ours. We'll head out together, and the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. You're a leader and you lost your power, you shouldn't be the one to face the captain. I agree with Kanich. The two of us can handle it. Listen to my plan first. Kanich, 
I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the Fatui defenses. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. Lure him to the front? No. The purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the Fatui forces in one place. That way, it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shilonen, I need you to do what your tribe does best and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Once we get close to the device, we just need to destroy it. Exactly. The Traveler and I will join her as well. No one can create a distraction better than you, Kanich. Not even myself. By combining our strengths, we just might manage to break through the Captain's defenses. Understood. Then we should, uh, head out now. Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You cannot face the Captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst possible outcome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You have my word. I'll proceed with caution. Okay... I mean, the Captain and the Archon have different views here. Head to the entrance of the remnants of the secret source. Don't tell me we're going to that boss area. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we are. Isn't there a waypoint here? Yeah. It's literally the boss of Silon for Silonen, which I've been farming for like how many times yesterday? Yeah, it was literally that. <laughs> behind that gathering of Fatui guards. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. Oh, uh -huh, and hand out the front. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first so they can't alert anyone. Defeat the Fatui on patrol nearby, so we just need to beat the ones over there. This is not trial, so I can this is Kinich. <laughs> so defeat these guys. Shilonen. Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. <clears throat> we'll take it from here. Dig a tunnel, okay. I can see the inside! Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. This thing's gonna fall. Alright. Please, take care. Remnants of the secret source. Oh boy. I don't know if I should be uh, ready to use this team. I don't think Achina is with us, are we? It was Kinich? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so... If anything goes bad... 
I mean... A walk would be nice. Well, this would be too easy, right? <laughs> I'll bring... I want to bring Traveler for Immersion, but now I know the word Immersion, but... Traveler can do nothing. I won't hold you back! Much. I guess this will do. So I am double healer, I guess. Yeah, well, why not? As much as I want to put Traveler in for Immersion, I don't think I can do anything with him. But I want to play the Natna characters. Since Kachina, I don't think she's she concentrate she's all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Momika! You look super cool! Yeah, that was some expert level rock clearing. Even by my tribe standards. Brightness. Okay. That must be the Fatui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. So don't go there yet. Need a surfboard? I wonder if there's anything here. There is this thing. Off we go. Yeah, this is a good team, <laughs> I think. And I have Bennett, so... Yeah, this is bad then. Masters of the Nightwind. It's a moron's doing. They're probably trying to buy time. Can my Vika do anything? Well, <laughs> we'll take the device to complete the image. Are relics from ancient times. We should try to restore them. These mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Well, let's give them a try. How do we know it's the right way? <laughs> oh, I think it's. Oh, okay. So it's like a ring. Uh, I get it, I get it. I pressed the wrong thing. Wait. Did I miss it?
Right. No. I'm so dumb. Ah! I want to press stop. God damn it. I don't know when it's to stop. Isn't that it? I feel like there's more than one device. The most important part of going out to have fun is so, well, going out. So just show up. Yeah, there is more than one device. No wonder I couldn't get it. Ah, uh, okay. Wait. This is confusing. Which one goes which? Yeah, that's correct. Pretty sure that's correct. Ah! Are you serious? Wait, let me get my up. Hey. Right now. There must be another one. But where is it? Ten points for agility. Oh, there is this one. Okay. Everybody stand back! Check this out! Oh. Yeah, this this is kind of correct. There must be one more. Is it only three? If there's only three, I'm just okay. dumb. This was correct. Why did I move this? Yeah, I think this is correct. Where is the last one?
keep by what I saw behind there. Hold on. Yeah, this is where we're supposed to go down, right? There's this thing here. Is there something we're supposed to do down here? curious about here is it nothing it's just I'll come back here later for the door or something we go. I guess so there is this also okay so nothing there This goddamn thing. Okay, so I guess the one that doesn't move is the one where every piece has to go. So that's how it is. Okay, now I get it. Is that it? I feel like that's not right. I'm not sure about this piece. I'm so confused. <laughs> what is this puzzle, man? This is the hardest puzzle I've ever done in an Archon Quest. Wait, I got it right. Ah! Shit. Well, oh, no, no, no.
my timing okay so now I understand I have to have that thing to be correct well this is already a bad start keep doing until there's a stick sound or something Oh, I want to click on this, not that. The hint is blocking. Okay, that's correct. Ah, uh, now it's making sense. Should be this one. No. Not sure when does it end here. Stop, come on. Don't press view hit this. There we go, okay. Oh, that was annoying. That was the most annoying puzzle I've ever done. Captain is there. Here they are. Oh, the captain's here too. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like they focus their defenses over there. Oh, they're here. Huh. I thought the Pyro Archon would choose a frontal assault. It doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. Stop! It's too late. Oh no. We this? need to turn it off. Is this the Secret thing. That's the time. I won't let you do this. So this is the thing in the car. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, disruption. The sound of lament. Oh no. The sound of lament. Is this the right game? <laughs> I mean, both have the word lament, but they're bringing in, in lament in here. What was that sound? It was like a piercing cry! Now's our chance to turn off the device! Let's go and... Oh shit, what now? We are a little dizzy. Oh shit, Auroran? Oh, Auroran? How did he just... <clears throat> what happened? <laughs> The movements have gotten a lot faster. Was a Warren always this good in battle? Silonen, uh, uh. This ends now. I think Silonen, I mean Traveler, also voice gone. This ends now. Uh. Huh? Wait. Something's wrong. Huh? What happened to Auron and why? What's going on? Uh -oh. <laughs> you are not a Roran. Who are you? Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> Commander. Commander? You. Commander? So. You still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Although, I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. What? <laughs> yeah, we turn it off. Okay. 
No what? We did it! <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment. And now, you've lost your chance. Even now, you're still the same as ever. His voice is completely different. Is... is someone inhabiting Aurora's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. That must be why I've returned. For this moment. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. <sighs> I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Abandoning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. What? Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already close to death. After all, his soul has been incomplete from the start. <laughs> what is going on? I'm still confused. Not sure what is going on. Um Someone said I'm close to death. Okay, this is the real aura. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry came from underground when I activated the device. What's down there? Matlan's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. <sighs> Am I dying? Oh, no. It's too soon. Ah! Aurora, it's you. What'll it be today? Oh, the elders. Why the long face? Uh, don't tell me you still haven't let that go. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you. I... I heard everyone wanted me to be the savior. Savior? Ha! Huh. Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do. Why would you have to become that person? Aurora, is that you? Oh, here, have a seat. Let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh batch. Can I get you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, maybe? Ask for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Ah, you liked those, did you? An outlander taught me that recipe, actually. A merchant, to be exact. Never thought about going into business yourself, my boy. You could travel all over. Our Aurora? A merchant? He's far too honest for that line of work. Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old-timers like us. Hmm. Everyone said a true savior does not really exist, but then, why did my birth open the door to the possibility? Why give people false hope? Maybe I don't need to sacrifice myself, but surely everyone is born for a purpose. So, what's mine? If I had succeeded back then, would the world have become a better place? Uh, What's the meaning of my existence? Done spacing See, out, Aurora? Did you finish your homework? Yes, Granny. It's just... <sighs> Will learning all this really make me as strong as you? <laughs> of course not! I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. <sighs> because you're a genius, right? <laughs> uh, you could say that. <laughs> or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them and picked up a few tricks that they didn't want to touch. Uh, ahem. It's rude to bring up a woman's age. Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> um, I wasn't the one yeah, who brought it up. Anyway, it. class is canceled tomorrow. <clears throat> Go have fun. What about my homework then? Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me, anyway? You've seen how the tribe treats me. They're all afraid. I try to go about my business, and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living one's life, I'd say. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Take it from me. 
the happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. That's a good life advice. Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself. Don't beat yourself up over the past. That's what she always says. But I never forced myself. Never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Hey, you zoning out over here again? Ifa. Oh come on, we still haven't seen what Ifa looks like. I was just looking at the aphids. Something interesting about them today? Uh, I noticed some on the ground. Maybe it got too cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Oh, guess that means less honey is here. Ifa, do you think being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. In fact, most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. Oh, jeez. That troublemaker's at it again. Aurora, my man, come inside and give me a hand, would you? Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. Well, I guess there is a fun part. Try now, out Smarty Rap. Come on, give me a hand. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. My soul is unstable. I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece. A part of me has always been missing. That's why the other spirit said I was close to death, but... Why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Just close your eyes and wait for death. Wrong. It was you, the thing that came out of nowhere. Oh, so this Guthrie is this guy? Thing? A warrior far stronger than a weakling like you. Is this some random dude? <laughs> I'm not weak. There's just a limit to what I can do. <clears throat> and that's exactly why your fantasy is so ridiculous. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? It is becoming him. Useless? Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? In fact, most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. But I don't want things to end here. Auroron? It's alright. We'll take things from here. Every time they marched into battle, I had to stay behind. Don't worry. With the Archon on our side, the Abyss doesn't stand a chance. All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. I want to do my part too. Both of us are bound to disappear. But your end will come sooner than mine, because you've been broken from the start. Who is this Guthrie? And I saw, I see that ring thing underneath. Is he Cambria? Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates oh, is that into just something wind, else? I will take temporary control over this body. I will serve my commander until the end. I will serve my commander. No. No, this isn't right. My life can't end like this. I, I still haven't done anything important with my life. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. I can't die here. No, Whoa. I won't die here. What is this? That was cool. Mavika. <sighs> that voice. Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. Mm. Okay. He's alive! 
Well done. You managed to do the impossible. Uh huh. What do you mean? Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. How? Mm. <sighs> I can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of Aurora as a comrade. He was helping to rein him in all this time. <clears throat> That's the only reason I had a chance to turn on the device. So then. I'm still confused. Uh, I, I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you managed to hold on to yourself. That's no is that, easy thing. Oh, is that an abyss controlling him or something? The worst appears to be over. The worst is over, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. Our plan. It failed, didn't it? I'm sorry. We were so close. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. <laughs> Auroron, I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer. The reason why I exist and why everyone always did so much for me. No one is born a hero. And no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All oh, I want is, here, is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. <gasps> An ancient name? Huh? You are the inheritor of my name. The hero from the masters of the Nightwind who shall fight for this generation. Fascinating. So Aurora is the, the other one. That the others thought you were. And yet, you're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. It can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Like you, I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning, too self-absorbed. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Now, remember your name. Even if others will see a different meaning, it still symbolizes your nobility and yearning. My ancient name. DD. It means devotion. You will devotion. give your all, not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found for your life. For that answer, you will offer all of your strength and be born anew. Through your devotion, you will prove your worth. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sanhaj. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. Okay, so that's how we get the other one hero. One more to go. What if Traveler is the last one? Hmm. I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought. The, the Lord, Lord of the, the Night has awakened. Uh, so this is Lord of the Night, okay. Does that mean... The Traveler will get the ancient name here? Lord of the Night? As in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom? I preside over a realm of souls. Yo, qual, te, chu, team, Lord of the Night. Sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. 
most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But with a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened, and his soul almost shattered as a result. And yet, his soul remains in one piece. He managed to overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will. Well, I guess a truly I did impressive have thing for a human. So, was that what caused all his strange behavior earlier? No. An additional soul was affected. It tried to take refuge in the missing part of your friend's soul. And, but yeah, it was someone it was else just now. Expelled. Whoever that was, but it called Commander on the Captain. However, this soul does not hail from that land or the Night Kingdom. Huh? Its origins remain. And what about the captain? He's still here. <laughs> I'm so confused. Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Why did it awaken you yeah, instead? Yeah, that's another question. W we sh wasn't him? Wasn't he trying to do that? Not awaken. Because I was the one who originally constructed Nathan's ley lines, otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. Well. I guess, yeah, the Nightlands Ley Lines is the Night Kingdom, so... Since he's she's Lord of the Night, she's literally the one who constructed the Ley Lines. Okay, that makes sense. The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world, the allowing the Abyss to invade. Natland's Ley Lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Natland, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old ley lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyro Archon, Shibalanke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss, the Ode of Resurrection, and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right! You said before it all came from the power of the heavens. The Asian dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now, I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more, at the cost of my own existence. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Natlan worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angel. But adventurers like you are probably more familiar with our devotion. Oh! Seelies. Seelies are angels. There are seelies around here. Yeah, where else did you find a CD in that Yeah, there was no CD in the open world of Natland until there is a CD it's related to the story. Few angels remain in that So the same is true of So are angels. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I have become your faith. I am very pleased. Malika, inheritor of Shibalonke's will, and leader of Nathlan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken. And the efforts of this harbinger and a young hero have imbued me with power. Say the word. And I will once again work to fulfill my mandate, just as I did thousands of years ago. So, what are we doing now? You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the abyss. Give me your orders. 
I will not. She doesn't want to do that. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlin are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. But that's what the captain wanted to do. Okay. Not to mention, all the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. The people of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the Abyss runs rampant, it, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when That's the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? Yeah. How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the Wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. Wow. What will it take for you to realize that? How many hundreds or thousands will have to die? Uh, this is where the, the different opinion starts. The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet. Has it? Why? Because I am a survivor of Conria. I've witnessed the devastation and terror of the Abyss with my own eyes. Well, that's a law drop as well. The captain is also from Conria, just like the Jester. <sighs> Conria? If you're a survivor of Conria. That's right. My family, my comrades, my homeland, we're all lost to the abyss. It is an unforgettable pain, one that no amount of time could ever dull, not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. But you're not an abyss, so you're similar like Dane, then. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You have that chance before you now. Why do you refuse to take it? Because we don't have the rights to make that decision. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. Giving up our memories and history would mean rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings, their physical bodies the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in humanity, you should trust in their ability to create a new future. Or, history could repeat itself. The Abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. Hmm. Both have to... Can I say uh, something? Good points here. I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save our nation. In the Captain's plan, I saw a chance to ensure our survival. But as I was on the brink of death, my wish for life and purpose was rekindled. I've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life. I refuse to forget that. My feelings were so strong, they overrode my compulsion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we will lose the meaning of our existence. That's right. Natland's heroes gave their lives so we could have this chance against the Abyss. Their sacrifices are our blessings. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. I don't want to give up just yet. Yeah, we're just one hero short! And that's us, <laughs> isn't it? Who else would it be? Come on. The power from the device will allow me to I stand at the ready should you change your mind. I have a feeling something's gonna happen, like because these two are still not in agreement. Probably it will 
somehow happen a little bit? I don't know. Even if you fail, you need only send someone my way. My offer still stands. Humanity is truly So remarkable. like another last resort. Even the gods in heaven told you to be special. Even now you stand before me dazzling like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The land or its people? Hmm. Ooh. Well? Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. I want to win. What about you? Fine. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited the memories of his forebearer, there's only one hero left. If it's not us, then okay. Then there's someone else <laughs> before us. I mean, after us, may I will see. Your plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Thank you. Having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. I know we yeah, may never completely see on. eye to eye on what it means if to protect we life. To fight but for now, I'm willing to fight by your side. Let's go. Fist bomb? Oh. Alright, we should uh, let everyone else we know We didn't see the, the fist bomb, come on. They probably saw each other's thoughts outside. Good idea, we need to explain the situation. I have a few more questions. Can we get an ancient name for ourselves? Oh, or something? Guess we'll stick around then. Yeah. I'll update everyone outside. Let's meet back up at the stadium. Wait. Uh, we're still in the domain, right? Depart the remnants of the secret stores. So just talk before we go back. Interesting. You come to me with many questions, Ooh. and you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you <gasps> shall have the knowledge you seek. That's a lot of law drops. Okay, the power of the heavens, the loom of fate is even mentioned here. Elemental energy in the abyss and ancient name. They do not like being mentioned by name by any. Be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. The power from the heavens are the shades! The shining shades! Wait. The one you wish to know about? I call her the ruler of death. The she ruler of now death. Establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. When you say the one you wish to know about, is this the unknown god or... Holy shit, okay hold on. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which quite displeased the Almighty. The Almighty something, but we call we just call him. Uh, okay, is this is the same one that I was thinking? She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade. She's a shade, which quite displeased the heavenly principles. She succumbed to self pity as a result. And no longer cared if others discussed her identity. No Even longer so, care. Her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self pity? Self pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. You come to me with many uh, questions. Huh. And you should be that, rewarded for your Is that what I think? Uh, am I am I thinking that I person or someone else? All right, the loom of fate. I'm not familiar with that concept. The device is capable of weaving and creating ley lines. You say? Yeah. So I thought you might know. Even I cannot create something from nothing. 
I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. Mm, okay. So this is something new even they don't know. If that power were available to the people of Natland, they might have a new option against the Abyss. Mm. Well... You come to me with many questions. Interesting. And you should be rewarded Elemental for Elemental energy and the Abyss. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. So just in this to that primordial form of energy. The heavenly principle is used for Justin as a basis for the creation of elemental energy to develop a power to better counter the abyss. Have you heard of the concepts of the light realm and the human realm? The light realm? That explanation might realm. take too long. Light refracts into seven different colors. Oh man, it really is in the light as rainbow, rainbow. Which is the seven elemental elements. Elemental energy is a similar concept. Light. It's essentially the modern counterpart. So, hold on. So, before we start the whole story thing, Traveler's element is literally light, which split into seven colors, which is the seven elements. So, yeah, it is light, uh, literally. You come to me with many questions, and you should be rewarded for your bravery. And Anciently. And you shall have the knowledge you seek. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. Sit down. No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Reach out in a dream? Okay. Young girl? I think that's Sit Lali. What? Did I mean... Did I say something wrong? I mean, everyone calls her Granny, so... You come to me with many questions. The top one was the top one was a big uh, law then. Alright, done. Interesting. Is the city? I don't think we can do anything there. You really are a one trick pony, you know. Alright, I think we're done here. What a good start to act form and straight into the main uh, law drop because of the ley line thing. Oh, we're friends now. The captain says a group of us need to stay behind to guard the source mechanism. Okay. It's extremely important. Of course, you're free to come and go as you please. You're free to come and go as you please. All right. Yeah, uh, glad we're allies again. Hopefully, Snishnaya also like this. <laughs> um, where are we going? Back here. One hour fun so far. And I'm enjoying Act 4. Act 3 was just... To... A lot of talking lah. Just basically... In that case, allow me to formally welcome the Fatui to our cause. The Fatui is on our side for now. <laughs> we now face a common enemy. It's time to put our differences behind us and look to the future. As for Auroron, his actions may have been out of line, but I don't intend to punish him right now. I'd rather give him a chance to prove himself. But still, I try to imagine playing as the captain. Will that even happen? A magnanimous decision. We're back! Whoa, seeing the two of you chatting like this, Paimon almost feels like she's dreaming. This may be an unexpected outcome, but a favorable one nonetheless. Hopefully now that we're all here, don't change I have some again. questions of my own. Like, I mean... Tell me, how did you discover the source mechanism? We weren't getting any closer to obtaining the Gnosis. So I had my men scour Natland for a different option. Auroron helped as well. We tracked down three scholars. Aberawong, Bosomtwe, and Kushtal. 
and combine the results of their research to locate this ancient device. <sighs> I've never heard those names before. Seems like my own investigation failed to locate some critical personnel. Hmm. I'm just not sure how I missed them. Strange. Perhaps they simply live in seclusion. Are they even scholars in that land, or are they, are they just... In any case, their results speak for themselves. Or are they actually abyss people in... how to say it? I don't know. That's true. Now we have another option at our disposal. Compared to using the Gnosis, our current plan will buy us some time. And if all else fails, we still have this plan as a so last resort. So now this is a last resort. Even though executing it will come at a heavy cost. I have a bad feeling it might happen. But that means making everyone forget their past! We should definitely try to avoid it if we can! Oh, actually, speaking of the Gnosis, how did you know what it could do? That story begins with the Cataclysm 500 years ago. I failed to save Conria from the rampage of the Abyss. When the situation became unsalvageable, I fled to Natlan with the remainder of my I, platoon. Pause, pause for a while. So, Conria was in, by, in the rampage of the Abyss, right? If that's what happened to Conria, why is Lumine siding with the Abyss? It's exactly like what Dean's saying. Why is that? Like the blame is... Why is the blame... Uh, for Lumine, the blame is not the Abyss. It's the heavenly, heavenly principle, whatever. But... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to keep something. That land had fallen victim to the same tragedy. I defended this land for quite some time, and in the process, met the chief of the masters of the Nightwind, Aizu. Who are you, Captain? I'm sure many people viewed Conria as the cause of the tragedy, but Aizu was kind to me all the same, and even helped me in my time of need. From that moment, I made it my mission to aid Natlan. In battle, a warrior fights to win. Even though my homeland was lost, I was already committed to this fight. Together, Aizu and I fought many battles and overcame countless hardships. However, he was unable to escape his fate. And, in his final moments, told me the secret of the Gnosis. Oh, Aizu. So it was him. He recommended using the Gnosis on several occasions, even before the tragedy. But I turned him down each time. You knew him, and you fought for Natlan all those years ago. Why don't I recognize you? Hmm. You're just hiding your face. You see? <sighs> it, yeah, must it must be the mask. I mean... She... Uh, who was the other one? Saying that he sends to be familiar <clears throat> even without the mask my past appearance is long gone even with the curse of immortality the flesh still rots that's why you're wearing the, the, the mask because okay now we know wait do you know someone named Dainsley? yeah i was thinking about that Dainsley doesn't seem quite so extreme for him yeah why Dainsley doesn't have that effect I mean, all of you have the curse of immortality, so... You've met him already? Uh, already how many years ago? Like, uh, Liwe? <laughs> yeah, a bunch of times! Sounds like you know him too. During the age of Conria, all I knew was his name. The last time I saw him in person, he was traveling with the princess. Yeah, okay, yes, but... During the traveling... Something happened, and the princess went the... Yeah, you know what happened. He carries a degree of pain and hatred that far surpasses my own. Back then you didn't want to fight me, was it really because of this? Yes. You're the brother of the princess. Given the role I held in Conria, I would prefer not to harm you. Although, this is likely a self-imposed burden. If the princess saw me now, I doubt she would even recognize me. As for your question, I don't know how Dane managed to slow the deterioration of his body. 
My appearance is much changed. And that's not the only thing. Even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. I would have never known. During our battle, it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human <laughs> strength. So you used to be stronger. <laughs> and I still lost. I mean, I deserve no you have for that outcome. you have the title of the first for a reason. So it makes sense now. Still, it's a shame you never faced off 500 years ago. You could have seen what I was Henry, truly capable uh, of. Not right now. I'm still in the Archon quest. I agree. Had we fought then, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. So, all that commotion back at the stadium, and you're saying neither of you were using your full strength? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say we're evenly matched. If we face off again, victory will come down to who wants it more. I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. But... Capitalizing on that situation would have only led How to a hollow is victory. Would have is she been like the strongest taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means yeah, I'm what lost. are you going to tell the story? Plain simple. Her Majesty the Tsaritsa allows every harbinger the freedom to pursue the meaning of their existence. When the time comes. That freedom can take precedence over her orders. That's why our methods can be so radically different, different, despite sharing the same goal and the same sovereign. The same sovereign, huh? I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Natlan. That was my primary motive. Once Natlan is saved, if the Gnosis still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Snishnaya. Okay. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change, so let's focus on the Abyss for now. I guess until the Abyss problem is settled, then you can have it, maybe? Wait! I... what happens when all six heroes are together? Some kind of power? Yeah, I guess... The Heavens were mentioned earlier. We will unleash a great power that can be used to thwart the Abyss. But only once. Only once. It's a power that Shibalanke gained from Renova. Renova is a god whose existence predates any Archon. You can think of her like an emissary of the Heavenly Principles. She controls the power of death. Renova? The power of death? Like the... Wait, is that why you have the Ode of Resurrection? Yes. Renova also orchestrated Natlan's rules. As for the Divine Throne, like I said before, when a human ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. The size of the flame depends on the person's potential. The same principle applies to the ruler of death's power. With one notable distinction. The amount of power inherited will not change depending on your ability to tolerate it. In other words, it's a kind of power that not everyone can withstand. But if you survive the trial, you will gain unprecedented strength. There's and the ability to harness power is more formidable than any Archon. That still sounds really risky. We cannot walk this path without accepting risk. Mulalani charged into the Night Kingdom despite the Abyssal contamination. Auroron fought back from the brink of death. In the face of their bravery, I must respond in kind. That is my duty. Spoken like a true leader. <sighs> All right. That's enough for one day. Okay, wow. head back and get some rest. I'm sure you're exhausted. The Abyss will likely sense the change in Auroron. It's possible the frequency of the attacks will increase. There are many challenges to come, so we need to be prepared. When you put it that way, my mom feels even more exhausted. Oh, all right, well, let's head back. It's not over. There's still a lot more I heard about this Act 4. Let's talk to the two of them. Damn. Now that we're working together, yeah. we'll need to coordinate our efforts. I'll leave a portion of my forces for you to command. That will definitely help relieve some pressure. You are sure they won't object? It's an order. I <laughs> will make that clear. Excellent. I appreciate your trust. Uh, what a twist now in Act 4. The captain is on our side. Well... Just like in Fontaine, the Arakino was on our side. 
but uh, yeah, similar thing here. <laughs> the start of the Archon Quest is like, oh, we're we're really fighting, but then now we're allies. <laughs> okay, what now? Ooh, that hurts. Katina and Molani. All oh, right, no voice. The monsters keep increasing in number. It's like something changed. It's definitely unusual, and we should all be careful. But don't worry too much. You have us by your side. If there's one thing the Abyss fears, it's strength. If they think we're easy prey, they've got another thing coming. Oh, someone's calling us. Hmm? Uh, something wrong, Traveler? The feeling of dread is getting stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And I was saying just now, aren't we going to be the final hero? Instead of waiting for the final hero to appear? Why not we be the final hero? We are the final hero, aren't we? Come on. Optional objectives. Oh, I'm doing the optionals. Uh, check out the area, take a look around the very inch. I would do this because, uh, yeah, if I missed it, then there's something I missed. Up. Here. What is it? Traveler is uh, cool, but I mean, just using that like characters is better. Why can't it go up? Is there something blocking? Agility. Isn't this be below it? <laughs> Literally here. Oh, actual kinish. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Well, no voice for kinish. So. Oh, these must be friends of yours. Well, head out then. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so, uh... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, there's no voice. Thank goodness. Well, I would say it's annoying for the story. Well, not really. Okay. Appreciate the concern. Uh, Captain's forces are all elite warriors, so it's a tough fight. We're about to cheat now, the pirate uncle captain are working together. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a lot happened while we were in the ruin. We'll tell you about it some other time. At least the pirate uncle's plan advanced a step further. This is the best outcome we could have hoped for. Yep. We need to keep pushing forward. Tribes calling for this. We won't keep you then. Let's get later! Uh, huh, yeah. I don't need to read that. <laughs> okay. This guy, man. Every time. Why is he running? Anyway, we got two more places to go. We're not going there. We still have two more. Are you running away? What's the other one? Um. Alone in. Uh, nope, we can't give any of these to our soldiers. They were not tempered correctly at the forge. Well-made weapons and shields are vital for the survival of our people. I know we're under a lot of pressure, but we can't compromise on quality. Listen, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I know this isn't your usual standard of work. Why don't why don't you all just take a break and I'll take care of the pieces. Oh. But uh, hey, she wanted is something wrong? <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Just uh some rushed defective goods, that's all. Even the most skilled craftsmen make mistakes under pressure, and if you two oh. want to avoid the same fate. You should really get some rest. 
You must be exhausted too. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I like it that way. Feels like exactly how I feel when I'm stressed at work. You should uh, head back and get some rest. I need to fix some things here first. All right. Did I talk with uh, just now with Kinich? And the last one. Nearby the very inn. Nearby. What's nearby the inn? Need a surfboard? What is nearby? Take a look around nearby the where we in. What? It's not in, right? You said nearby. Maybe it's inside. Tell me it's inside and don't just start the next one. Oh shit. Goron. Um, I guess this is the main story, and I didn't get the optional one. Granny? <sighs> What's wrong, Granny? It looks like you have something to say. Uh, you know exactly what you did. You need some sense knocked into you, that's what I think. Now, where do I even begin? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now that you have nowhere to run, that's when you apologize? You couldn't wait to run off last time, and the time before that. Uh, pretty sure I apologized those times too. <laughs> what exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal is one thing, but then you also tried to pull off that whole thing in the ancient ruin. I'm not the one who needs an apology. Apologize to yourself for risking your life. Okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't have anything to say for myself, Granny. Yell at me all you want. I know I messed up. You better be sincere. Mm -hmm. This is an incredibly serious matter. I'm being sincere, I promise. I've seriously reflected on my actions. I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some bad choices. But I don't regret it. I just had to do something. Not because I thought I was special, but because I wanted to help Natlan as much as I can. Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so... You're right. My apology doesn't mean much. But I don't know what else I can say. You even had Aoife bring me that gem. A simple thank you isn't enough, but still... Thank you, Granny. <sighs> You're welcome. Hmm. Just... Make sure to thank Aoife sometime. That's sincerity. Hmm. I will. Uh, anyway, don't feel too grateful. I tampered with the bag to copy a portion of your memories. That's how we found out. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> of course you didn't. You forget how many years I have on you. Like you could uncover one of my tricks. Uh, anyway... I have something else to tell you. The Pyro Archon has discussed your case with the others. Many of your actions violated the rules of Natlan. And you should understand you'll have to take responsibility for that. I understand. But... Your efforts weren't entirely meaningless in the end. Yeah. In addition to giving us another failsafe, you saved yourself with sheer force of will and managed to become a hero. Huh. Not too shabby, grandson. Did the Traveler in Paimon tell you to say that? What? No! I said that because I mean it! I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. You normally let your fist do the talking. Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. I told the Traveler I was going to break your legs. Oh, shit. And I meant every part of it. <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> I still need them to walk. Mm, trying to negotiate, are you? All right. Make me an offer. Given all the good things that I managed to accomplish, can you let me off the hook this one time? I promise to do better in the future. 
<sighs> Fine. I can let this slide for now. But I'll be watching. We'll see if I change my mind. Oh, Traveler, Paimon. Didn't expect to see you here. Hello! I was just looking for the third optional quest. But I think I just stopped the, the main one. <laughs> yes. Uh, looking after these little rascals is rather exhausting. Taking care of the Traveler isn't easy either. Yeah. Paimon's life is an uphill battle. What? Traveler, Paimon. I want to thank you for your help back at the ruin. I won't. Let's get together sometime. If Auroron really wants to thank you, he can treat us all to a tasty meal. Sounds great. We'll be there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that was the third. Okay, I was right then. This was the optional quest. Okay, 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 because we're supposed to have a short rest, so that was like, unavoidable, the, the optional, okay, because you have to go in, so this was unavoidable, optional quest to do, and they're not here now, okay, let's just, take a need a surfboard? Nope, we don't need a surfboard, is this a, okay, I thought it was a chest, I'll be so mad. <laughs> Something's gonna happen tomorrow. What do you mean there's an objective in this area? That is the last quest. Okay. If you're done for the day, we should get some rest. Hyman has a feeling we'll need it for tomorrow. Yeah, and even f right now, I need a lot of rest after this Arkham quest. <laughs> yeah, let's rest. I don't think we have anything else to do. We're pretty done with everything. That night, oh no, something happened. You ready? Uh, sit lolly and... Okay. Yep, let's go meet the Lord of the Night. Is this the ancient name stuff? I think because they, they heard the dream thing. So, this is where you heard the Lord of the Night? Guess that means she really has awakened. Now sit lolly is here. Hopefully we made it before she falls asleep again. Fret not. Yes, she's still here. I'm still here. For a week, my form, falling asleep is no less taxing an exercise than staying awake. I, I'm sorry for disturbing your rest, but there's something we didn't have the chance to ask you earlier. We need to forge a new ancient name for the Traveler, but we ran into a problem. He's not from Natland, so there are no records of him in the Night Kingdom. I see. Mawika must hold him in high regard. It would seem the two of you are not simply here on her orders. So, what say you? Do you believe this traveler to be deserving? Mm -hmm. uh. Speak your mind. There are no others here. You are both my children. Both children of that man. I would hear your opinions on the matter. He is special. He saved Kachina and devoted himself to helping us avert this disaster. Natlan owes him a debt. But that debt has not been repaid, and with an ancient name, we can at least guarantee his safety. Even though that guarantee will come at the cost of your own life? Yes. So, it's true. Forging an ancient name consumes the uh. life of the craftsman. Forging an ancient name is an act of creation. It involves taking disparate concepts throughout the Night Kingdom and condensing them into a heroic epic. Oh, wait. But it takes time for the new concept to be integrated into that realm. It takes time. If the ancient name is like a seed, then the life of the craftsman is the outer shell. Serving as its protection. The life of the craftsman? Once that process is complete, the seed so will sprout and have a is the sacrifice to create this ancient shell will gradually disappear. Once it's complete, the outer shell will disappear. Forging an ancient name is no easy task. And creating one for an outlander makes it even more challenging. Still, if you're here, 
That means your mind is set. Yes, because I believe forging this name will be well worth it. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold back the abyss or what the final price of averting this disaster will be. If giving up my life means that all the people of Natlang can have a future, then the sacrifice is practically negligible. Even when I'm staring death in the face, I don't think I'll regret this decision. I bear the name Baraka. This is a part of my duty. Wait, doesn't that mean he, she also has an ancient name too? W w wouldn't that mean that would just... I understand. Wait. The chance may be exceedingly slim, but you still want to seize it because this could be the final step to victory. And you, Sigla, the anxiety you feel. It's because you saw something, yes? Something you are not meant to see. So, you know about that Something too? Something not meant to see? What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time. And too many things can go wrong. Uh-huh. The Masters of the Nightwind have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. It's just... Using this power on the Pyro Archon has always been seen as a taboo. Oh no. And you did it anyway? What, what did you, you see? saw something in the future? Death. Uh... <sighs> A key part of Malika's plan is using the six heroes to release the power that Malika obtained from the ruler of death. Ronova, uh-huh. Considering its origins, the price of using that power is death. Just when I thought it was this final uh, last resort will be Mavrika's sacrifice. No. What? Mavrika's plan is the sacrifice? Wow. You, you're saying Mavrika is going to die in this war against the Abyss? Yes. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. Don't forget, Siglali. Even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Again, I don't know, you guys have this re resurrection power here. So fate indicates what will happen I'm in the so future. Confused. The time, manner, and place are all predetermined. But death is different. Death is so good. Death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Malika to triumph over the abyss. But she must offer her own life in the process. What? The ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of death. She simply guarantees that it will occur. Just guarantee it, of course. Well. Fate may be able to influence the timing. But that is all the traveler can change. So that's all we can do? If, 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 wait, you're, you're saying we might be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome? I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. Malika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes. I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Well, I can't! She's so strong! She never gives up! Never rests until a problem is solved. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her death. The Traveler shares that quality. That's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together, I know they can overcome the impossible. Be it fate or death. We shall have to wait and see. But I will curb my expectations. My time is running out. It is my honor to witness humanity in this moment. Absolute determination. We won't forget your contributions. Once we deal with the Abyss, we'll find a way to keep you alive. Thank you for saying that. But there is nothing you can do. How many years of life are enough? Ten? One hundred? One thousand? Ten thousand? The Night Kingdom will disappear. The 
humans will continue to fight against the abyss, and in the end, all will cease to exist. When you consider all of that, extending my life is meaningless. That's what makes us different. Even if our end comes tomorrow, humanity will still do whatever it takes to survive today. Exactly. Times like these always fill me with admiration and reinforce my commitment to the mandate I shoulder. My creator was right in esteeming you as special above others. Here. What this is, is my gift to you and an extension of my will. It can record the oh, experiences shit. in this land, whether from the past or the future. So past experiences can also be recorded. With it, you can forge the ancient name you desire. And the traveler will also become a hero forever recorded in the memory of Nadla. Okay. But still, what's going on right now? Thank you. We're sorry to ask this of you when your strength is already all but spent. Really? Thank you so much. Your thanks are unnecessary. This is the least that an angel can do. Time for you to leave. It's getting dark. What? <laughs> I thought it was just so simple. Yeah, here you go, ancient name. I can't sleep with all the noise outside! Check it out. It's not the next day yet. We just can't sleep. Hold on. Is it the ancient name has been forged? It's not even night time yet. <laughs> uh, it's the two of them. Hello. Shimon and Sigali, is there a reason you're up so early? Oh, it's, it is the next day. Okay, I was like, what? See, cut sleep, so I thought it was uh, still not. It's still the same day. It is the next day, okay. We went to see the Lord of the Night, and she gave us this. Like I said before, I couldn't forge your ancient name because there was no record of you in the Night Kingdom. But with this, we can finally record your deeds. Just keep it with you during your time in Natlan, and eventually it'll be full of your adventures. Really? What I want to see? Oh, that's cool. Oh. All may be sacrificed for the beloved man. With the encouragement, Utabiti tasted victory for the first time. This was Kachina. Okay. The star that transcends destiny. In the words of Malipo, everything comes at a price. This is Kinesh. Umo just hard. This is all the ancient names that we've. Uh, Pilgrim's Chronicle. And there's one more here. So there's still more. Okay. Whoa, it's the two of us! And a sun in the middle! Oh, and that must be... Kachina? Yeah. It's not a concrete medium. It reflects the Lord of the Night's will, and shows what she wants you to see. It's different from what Paimon sees. I want to see something else. Oh, in other words, don't worry about his form. When you want to check the contents, just take it out and have a look. Sounds convenient! It's also super light and doesn't take up too much space. This is a really awesome gift. <laughs> they didn't cut. Uh. Ouch. There's gonna be a cost for something else, though. There is a cost for the ancient name later. Oh, yeah. We feel bad accepting something like that! Oh, yeah. Don't worry, you two. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, like you saw yesterday, aiding humanity is the Lord of the Night's mandate. She would have willingly reconstructed Natland's ley lines at the cost of her own existence. She wouldn't... she wouldn't ask anything in return for this. Well, for this, but... Mm. Exactly. Just take it. 
I mean, once the ancient name is formed, she is, there will be a cost, huh? Well, if you say so. <laughs> oh, Kachina. Oh, no, not again. So soon? We just fought them off. We can figure that out later. Let's go. Alright. Oh, let's get out. Let's go get some fun. You get to see that. This one. Okay. Wait, just now Paimon says it's us too. What does he mean by that? Where did you see us too? This? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We do so much on but with a group, anything's possible. So now, are we fighting the abyss? I see. I'll send reinforcements to those two locations. This other one is too dangerous. I'll handle it myself. The remaining locations are remote with no inhabitants. Let's bring our warriors back and make sure they're careful on the retreat. Understood. I'll spread the word. We're here. What's going on? Kachina said the Abyss attacked again? Yes. It's not looking good. Our forces have always been able to handle the sporadic attacks, but now... There are more monsters than ever and the attacks are more frequent. What about the scale? What areas are they targeting? All of Natlan. Not just around the stadium, but even the remote areas of the Collective of Plenty are reporting attacks. So, they're attacking everywhere in Atlanta. Could this also be some kind of omen? If things continue like this, then... It's literally a war. We won't last much longer, I know. What we're seeing now is the desperation of the Abyss. It knows we're only one hero short. I don't have the strength to fight it right now. This is its best opportunity and its final chance. You're saying... We just have to hold out for as long as we can? It'll be a long fight. Our current focus needs to be on protecting civilians and conserving manpower. There are caravans and adventurers trapped in the wild. Many of our warriors have already left to rescue them, but they'll need reinforcements. Alright. Alright. Shilonen, Kachina, head to the camp near the Children of Echoes. Seat Lali, you're needed in the Masters of the Nightwind. As an important figure in the plan, Auroron will stay here. Your tribe is too far from the stadium. Understood. I'll leave right away. I prepared a hot air balloon to take you where you're needed. Oh, Messengers okay. from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natlan. Update them once you've completed your mission, and they'll compile the information into a battle report. As I receive intel from the various regions, I'll plan your next move. Alright. No time to lose. Let's go! Kachina? Be careful. What about us? Where should we go? I received word that a small team escorting civilians back to the stadium was attacked. They won't be able to hold out for long. Can I lead them to you? Thank you. The hot air balloon is over there. Forget waypoints. We have hot air balloons. Wait, what is this? Outdoor rescue. All hotspots that re Abyssal corrosion level? What is this? Oh. Participants. Wait, what? <laughs> that means you can't change normally. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, if that's the case, um, shit. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. All right, immersion time, but I need someone strong. An insurmountable problem, I presume. The 
this should be do sh should be alright. Because the map is just here. So we can't teleport now. We have to use the air balloons. Start. Hey, this thing is pretty convenient. It's not only fast, but also saves us a lot of energy. I mean, teleporting is faster, but okay, we have a base corrosion percentage. Can this go a little bit faster? <laughs> oh shit, there they are. Oh, the warriors fighting everywhere. Well, they are not fighting, they're just standing there. Come on, man, Genshin. Do like, uh, do like what Wuwa does. <laughs> when there's a war, actually, everyone's actually fighting. I see this one there too, in the map. But I don't see them. Anyway, we're here. No, we did not. Okay, this is fighting. Alright, here we go. Reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. Well, I, all you guys have no help. Reinforcements, thank goodness. I mean, okay, you guys do get damage. Or do you? Do you guys actually get damage? I don't know, that looks very negligible. <laughs> anyway. Bro, are you dumb? There. Thank you for coming. We were almost at the breaking point. There were just too many monsters. They just kept coming wave after wave. I've never seen it this bad. At least we got here in time. You all should get going. I know, but it's not that easy. A lot of people were hurt in the battle just now. Our cart was also attacked, and now our supplies are scattered everywhere. That's not important right now. We need to focus on getting out of here a lot. I know, but these were medical supplies. What if they need them back at the stadium? It's them! Over here! We came to help, but looks like you don't need it. <laughs> nice job making it through. Now we can head straight to the next location. What other areas need help? Here, take a look at the latest battle report. Messengers from the Scions of the Canopy are traveling all around Natland to pass along the latest intel. If you see a messenger from the Scions of the Canopy, feel free to ask them about the latest battle situation. Thanks! Now where should we go next? Seems like you can hold your own in a fight, so let's split up. Choose where you want to go and we'll take the rest. Uh, still looks like they could use some help here though. These supplies are really important. Maybe you should help this first? What should we do? It's alright. Don't delay your rescue efforts on our account. But if we stay here too long, the monsters might come back. What do you think, Traveler? Should we stay and help? Yeah. Well, I will do whatever you decide. Uh, 23% Abyssal activity Daylight status Stable Okay Let's Come on Traveler, can I ask you a favor? My mother's a doctor, I'm worried She's not a fighter and I can't leave to check so the Thank you Okay What's the other optional? Do you get it's normal gripping? Normal? You mean Not at all. You're here, aren't you? Oh, it, yeah. That's it. What are these dialogues? Okay, completed. So now what? Check the map. Eh, this is an emergency department. 
you are not, you can provide immediate support. Yeah, emergency, then let's go. Alright, what's the issue? Don't we need to use the thing again? How do we get up? I don't know now if it's a good idea to use Alakino because I don't have a healer or a shielder. <laughs> I can heal now, but that will get rid of my. I'll keep for my burst. This is not fast, uh, this balloon. Uh, I guess for people that can't teleport, I guess you will use the balloon. But come on. And the music doesn't feel like it's a war. <laughs> so much for war. We have a war with the abyss right now, but... I mean, I can just fly there by myself. Again, this is slow. Are we even moving? Are we even moving? I don't feel like we're moving. Well, until now we're just halfway. This balloon is slow, man. <laughs> what was that? Hey, Kenich just ran past. Oh, it's Kenich. He must be busy delivering messages. At least he didn't look hurt. Alright, now we're going a little faster. Thank goodness. Seriously, this is a... Uh... <clears throat> when there's a war, why not put some war music or something like... It's urgent stuff coming. <laughs> I guess... Once the battle starts. Yeah. Everything looks good so far. Wait! Those Saurians are fighting the Abyss! I'm going to change. Unbelievable! Attacking you innocent Saurians! Come on, let's go out! There we go. Wow. Oh, fuck. Everybody stand back! Level 100 to... Ooh, they're almost down to the... Yeah, this guy too. This guy too. There you go. Safe. Are you all alright? It's alright. You're safe now. The bad guys are all gone. <laughs> go and find your friends, okay? It's dangerous out here. It's best to stick together. Okay then. Shoo! Shoo! Come on! Shoo! Nope. Still nothing. <laughs> uh, wait. There's something on the ground over there. Is this someone's head? Let's see. Oh, it's oh. one of the battle reports from the Scions of the Canopy. This must be what the Saurians were trying to protect. Looks pretty recent too. We can use it to figure out where to go next. If it's recent. You're right. Maybe they just dropped it by accident though. I. Uh, We don't know if there's any urgent stuff here, so uh, follow the battle report. I don't know. Anything else urgent right now? See that any survivors nearby? Okay, I'm doing that. See any? Oh. Someone. We found someone. Someone's injured. Oh, that must be the messenger. Hey, are you alright? Can you still walk? The battle report. 
I have to find the battle report. Yeah, we got you covered. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I just hope I'm not too late. In times like these, every second counts. Even a short yeah. delay can put lives at risk. This was, uh, how to say, you were delayed for the bad here. balloon. You just need to head back the to balloon. the stadium and focus on getting The balloon slowed us, man. <laughs> You're right. I can't do much else in my current state anyway. How can we make sure he'll safely get back, though? We can't let him make the journey alone. It's too dangerous out there. <laughs> well, they have these guys. Huh? What the? Oh, give him a lift. Oh, you guys sure about this? It's really dangerous you can out there. Trust them. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. Thank goodness for the Saurians. They really came to the rescue. All right. That turns out they understood. Really? That's your takeaway from this? Huh. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, that's done. How is it, everything going? The abyss of corrosion is getting higher though. That's not good. We've resolved two cases, but the number of deaths and monsters are increasing. Oh man, there's so much more urgent. There's two urgent stuff here. For two, we are fighting. Shit, Mavrika's there. I mean, he knew she's there, but... Oh. Oh. I kinda wanna see what happens here. This is more emergency, so... You will find many who will aid you in battle. Make sure to pack some healing. This time we will not go through the balloon again. Thank goodness! Okay. We need healing. I have just the perfect healer. We can do this! Time to broaden our horizons again. Should we bloom? Should we play Bloom? It's been a while. Anything I can help you with? Three hydros. <laughs> well, I don't know if this will work, but let's give this a try. Huh? We have a two way fighting. Everyone hold hands. Let the show be Punch them, punch them, yeah. Just keep punching. Keep punching. Alright, there we go. Thanks for the help. Thank goodness. Yes, per his order, we're now under the Pyro Archon's command. Not everyone understood his decision, but our Lord's orders take precedence overall. We're alive because of them. They saved us. Wow, well, um, guess that means we should thank you guys. <laughs> this is weird. Agreed. Agreed. Where are you headed? The people of the Springs? That was the plan, but I don't know if it's safe anymore. I suggest heading to the stadium. Most of the manpower will be focused there, so it'll be safer than staying with the tribes. Once we take care of these monsters, some of our soldiers will escort you. Thank you so much. Guess a little extra help never hurts. People from all over Natland are heading to the stadium. That area needs to be the center of our defensive efforts. 
If your other tasks are complete, I'm sure the people there could use your aid. Hearing those words from you also feels quite strange for me. But I can only accept the situation at hand. That's another problem down. But the abyss of corrosion is still going up. That's still not good. The captain must have known the situation would get a lot more dire than expected. That would explain why you're so anxious. We have to stop the abyss of corros corrosion. Though. But... The captain was right. Any emergency stuff we should do that first, I think. I don't know. If we if we keep doing all the emergency stuff, we're not gonna head anywhere, huh? Saved by the Fatui! <laughs> well it wasn't just the Fatui, come on. Hey? I want to seek shelter as well, but the people of the springs need these potions. I have to get them there. The Fatuika escort you? I wouldn't risk it. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We can get you close. It's on our way. Oh, well, great. I appreciate it. Should be alright, I guess. Okay. Let's talk to them again. It's so I, weird to see. <laughs> I suppose our safety is in your hands then. It's dangerous to rely solely on others. You also need to look after your own safety. Wow. Okay. Um. I'm glad there's healing here, but we don't really need it. Anyway, what's next? What happened to the emergency? Yeah, it's gone. She. Well, we have to choose one or the other. The captain is not here. Mavuika is not Kachina. Is Kachina okay? How is everything else? Them. We need to fight this. The deaths have not increased though, it's just the monsters have been increased. Okay. Well, we have to do something now. Let's do this. And I'm glad we don't need to ride the balloon this time, they just teleported us there. They're so good. Okay. Wow, there are so many people here. Looks like it really is getting too dangerous for people to stay out in the wild. Guess that means the situation is Alright, sorry to interrupt my mom, but uh If we can use any team, I will use every possible team that I can use. Ready for a rehearsal? We need a shield. What is the situation? I can't do let's go. <sighs> I knew you'd miss. There is no You say uh, sacred flame, so I should use pyro or something, but I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, what? Oh, destroy that. Okay. Hold on, we need to destroy that thing. Oh, I thought it's the abyssal pylon. There you go. Hey, Kinesh. Oh, Kinesh, you're back! Yeah, uh, but I guess you could have had handled it just now, but yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be yeah, done. It really feels like we're running short on people everywhere. It's so dangerous out there. Just when we think everything's under control, another thing goes off the deep end. Not that Pylon's complaining, it's just. I have a feeling it is because the abyssal thing is going up. 
Bruh. Okay, that's enough out of you. Yeah, enough out of you. But okay. Second with the patrols. Alright. Where's my vehicle? To the mines. A group of people to the echoes. Yeah, she. Oh. Sorry. Good idea. Maybe we can see if the people around here need anything in the meantime. <laughs> Looks like we're. There's a lot of people in here. Forty-three. Could they all be refugees? Rest here for a while. Okay, what are the optional objectives? Talk to me, talk to the Saurian, talk to... Do we have time for this? I don't think resting here is a good idea. We have to help out. Yeah, we okay. No, no more, no more increases then. So, I managed to accept my fear, but I still want to ask you one last thing. If I die, do you think anyone will remember? Don't think about that, do your best to stay alive. Oh my gosh. You're saying absolutely yes, but yeah, don't think about that. But once you do ooh. I would say absolutely but that this is not this isn't actually I don't know how to say it. Yeah, please do whatever you can to stay alive. Your life is super important. My life is super important. Got it. Thank you again for leading me to the end. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know whether that was correct. We can... Is that what it is for this tree here? Oh, can you share here? Yeah, no one has. I don't even want to hear the voice right now. Okay. Uh, talk to the sorry. Oh, we did. Okay. Our draw. Who is that? Oh. Hey, you made it! Sure did. Dargo made sure we got back safely before. Plus, we managed to deliver the medical supplies nice. to the stadium. Okay, that's good. But uh, I think we still have something else to do here. Rest for a while. Okay, I guess we can rest for now. Where? Well. Wanna get some rest, traveler? We have to head out again in a bit. I think we have already, uh, yeah, we have food around enough. The latest battery pops here. How is it now? <laughs> it's you too! Thanks again for rescuing me. <laughs> yeah, we ran into him out in the wild! He was injured, but luckily some Saurians took him back to safety. Yeah, thank goodness. Uh, speaking of which, are you sure you've recovered enough to be out and about like this? Now that I think of it, if I pick something else, we probably wouldn't see him, but we've seen uh, someone else alive, isn't it? <laughs> I got really lucky. My injuries yeah. were just some flesh wounds. The doctor said they should heal on their own as long as I get enough rest, so I figured I'd try and keep working if I could. But, uh, it didn't take me long to start regretting that decision. Everything's hurting now. As soon as I've delivered this battle report, I'm headed right back to go lie down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what? Oh no! Another abyssal pylon? 
Out of nowhere, that's not good. Here, yeah, of all places. Here. Luckily, we are here. Let's stop them. Kinish trial! Oh, we have five people! Let's go! Okay, wait, wait. C3. 10 to 10. Oh, wait. This is a weird team. This is actually a weird team. Five. Oh, we can literally bomb that. Okay. Wait, can I just get out of you, out of the way? So annoying. Come on, destroy the pylon. What? Wait, there's more. Destroy this. Destroy this one. Destroy! 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 Why is it increasing? There you go. There's two more. Why? Why is there so many here? Wait. Wait, four. Five. Five. Take the bomb, take the bomb. Hold on, take the bomb. Take the bomb, take the bomb. Is it destroyed? No. Wait! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, right then. What the hell, man? Why is there so many suddenly? Katina. Malani. Oh, a storm is coming. Oh shit, what is that? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh. It's a literal war. Is it 100% now? It's everywhere. Oh, no. Captain. Oh, shit. What do we? Hold on, I saw that. Let's go! Let's get to you on our side. Thanks. The situation is grave. This is not good. Hold this position. Keep the people safe. Whatever oh, there is. Chaos and emptiness. So that's the abyss. And it knows that now is its best chance. What? The sacred flame! Archon's on the case! The sacred flame is gone. Or is it? We have no vehicle. With the Gnosis. She's trying to fire up the flame. Okay. So the sacred flame clears the abyss. Thing is still there. What? What was that? Pure dread and destruction. Bruh, come on. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's gonna eat you too. So that's the abyss's power. Yeah, it's a full invasion. It's already hundred too late, huh? The fact that Deadpan Kenich is this nervous just goes to show how serious this really is. Oh, let's go. The disaster is really happening. Now it's really happening. Now it's actually a big issue. Holy shit. Oh shit. Okay. Um.
best to heal, okay. Thank you for that. But, uh, we need to change. Let's get new villet. The pleasure is all mine. And uh for me I can stay. Mm. Alright, let's head off. Can put a buffer. Is it time to go? Does double buff work? <laughs> I don't know if double buff work. Well, we'll just give it a try. We have Furina as the healer, though, so okay. Now, where is. What's going on? Another emergency there. I hope everyone's fine there. There's another emergency here. Two monster types here. Or this? What is this? Unknown. And this is also unknown. Oh, it's already 50%. Okay. And this is totally. cannot see. It. The monsters here are endless. Oh no, that's not good. You guys better get out of there, man. situation unknown well this is my emergency right now so yeah I'd rather focus on the emergency ones so let's go Whoa, the are each other. what no, oh okay they are That it? There's two more. There's a new enemy? Wait, what? What's the new enemy? Oh, hold on. Should have bought the uh, man, man. Let's see if this works. When that dark entity emerged in the sky, seconds later the abyss monsters appeared and changed into Saurian form. They fought till the end to protect us. Keep moving. And now... Right. You need to get to the stadium. Come on, we'll take you. I guess. Uh, thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Truly I am. May the Wyatt watch over your souls, now and forever. <laughs> You're crying already. I'm not ready for what's happening next. This is just the Saurians. Huh? This is no disaster. This is war. Oh my gosh. Now this is the nation of war. This is the real war. Yeah. No one knows. It's just... And this is it just the beginning. I have a really bad feeling about this. But anyway, right now... Let's focus on getting them to the stadium. With any luck, there'll be an update waiting for us there. If not, we'll just have to play things by ear. Oh no. How's the report? Are we going where? Can we talk to the chorus at the stadium? Oh no. You rescued the survivors, but yeah. Oh, that was it, huh? Oh no. Talk to the chorus. Oh, 
Oh, hey, it's you again. Any report? This is not the latest that we have. It's a real shame I'm stuck here nursing my wounds. Otherwise, I'd be out there on the front line delivering the latest intel that you got. What's the current situation out there? <sighs> fewer and fewer messengers are making it back, and each trip seems to be taking longer than the last. It gives me a really bad feeling. I'll update you on the latest intel for now. For next time, though, I'll see if I can find someone to bring the updates directly to you. I can't guarantee anything, though. As you know, we're seriously short on people. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You really are a true hero. The death is still increasing. Leyland status dented. Abyssal activity strong. But it's still 51. Stay safe. Holy shit, now this is what I was talking about if it's actually a war. Holy shit. This is what I was expecting it to be like. Exactly like this. Oh no, not another one. Um, we have some participants here. Wena! Uh, oh boy. And this is already an attack. Is this the only one? I guess we have no choice then. Wow, look at this tree. No life can endure here. No life can endure here. The monsters here are endless, yeah. Holy shit, this area has gone worse. Wait. It's gonna spread, man. China, you better be okay. We have to save this one. Alright, let's change another thing. Let's play plunge. Send one, send them all. Where's my... I trust you have packed ample foodstuffs. It's time to pull the trigger. I forgot my team. What is my team again? I have high hopes for this journey. Is this my team? I forgot my hotel team. <laughs> No, I need uh I don't need a shield uh, at all. I have a healer. Usually who taught him what did I use? I already forgot, see lah. I forgot my own settings eh. I double Chivalry will never die. Yeah, I think Yelan will be fine. Who's our target this time? Okay, let's go. Another place crawling with monsters. Oh. Let's clear the area and see if there are any survivors. Is there even any? They're all in. Why is that a, a, a thing up there? What are you? You're really an answer. Hold up. There you go. Any survivors? Anyone? What happened to the monsters? All of them? Yep. We but there were so many. We took care of them. What's the situation here? Any other survivors? Uh, no. Huh. 
they are maybe if there is they're hiding <sighs> no the warriors protecting our group all fought to their deaths we weren't about to sit around waiting to die so we snuck out and made a run for it but we didn't get far before the monsters spotted us who knows Maybe we should have stayed put after all. No, oh, when I was in my prime, I could have handled them all by myself. Yeah, take our hot air balloon and head to the stadium. Oh, but won't that hold you up? If what the? How is anyone still here? I thought the monsters had captured this place. There's some else. Yes, of course. Leave them with us. <sighs> What's the matter? We need to go. It's not safe here. It's just. I can't help but think things might have turned out differently if only I'd chosen to fend for myself sooner, rather than expecting other people to protect me. It's not too late. Maybe even for me. I might be an old bag of bones, but I used to train in a spear, and I bet I can still remember a thing or two. Let's get going. I'm gonna fight to the very end, just like they did. Thanks again for your help. We'll be all right from here. Okay, but be extra careful on your way back. We'll see you at the stadium. You bet. Till then. The fact that this war thing, the outcome can be different if we didn't go here. It's where we can just save. So now it's it's safe now, but okay. We now is we put the chorus to deal with it. Okay. So situation unknown, but to, we oh yeah we can't teleport at all now because we gave the balloon. It no. Can't, right? Wait, let me see it all around. Stadium key side. This one is dangerous up here. Pacino, you better be okay. You should be okay. I mean, we checked the map, but what now? Oh, wait, below. Molani. Holy shit, what is going on down here? Oh, okay, so here's an emergency right here. I just realized the map. Holy consume, no life can end. Here. The flower feather plan? I don't be so sure about that. Let's play Navia. Count me in. We can still plunge. What shall we do? Should we DPS? Yeah, let's get this over with. Will this work? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just give it a try. I mean, yeah, I mean, we don't have. We have a healer already. Let's go. This is order. I'm using every possible team that I always use. Wait, is that for two? Yeah, oh shit. You paid the highest respect to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, Kachina, you should be fine there. I'm going to kill. Endless echoes. These warriors are 
is struggling. Quick, watch out! What else do we have in our arsenal? At the ready. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm bringing my C6 Amber this time. Uh, for an Amber team. Sooner we're done, the better. The hunt begins. There you go. I, I can do. Let's go. How bad is this? I'll race you there. Oh boy. Alright. Animal hypostasis annihilation. Punishment. This thing is not going down. There you go. Boom! Missed. You can't run. There you go. <laughs> that was you so much. Uh. You the enemy attacks grow stronger with each wave. <laughs> We're nearly at breaking Bruh. point. Given how few of us are left. I think it's time we cut our losses. This pace is as good as gone. Yeah, but we, so we rescue as much as we can. Yeah, everyone needs to stick together. Best to regroup somewhere else. Better late than never. Time to evacuate. Warriors, uh, gather does around. Does this mean we really have to do the last resort thing? Since this is all destroyed now. Well, For anyone who still wants to fight on the front lines, the Children of Echo's front is the closest to here. Anyone who wants to leave will likely also see action as they evacuate, but will be afforded safety at the stadium. Those are the options. We're abandoning this base, and you're free to stay with the group or leave. With our limited numbers, I can't promise that we'll be of any real assistance to the we Children to of Echo's war effort, even if we do join them. Please bear this in mind as you make your decision. Now then, this anyone who wishes to keep fighting, show me how serious you are. Really? Even after my less than rousing speech? Why would we give up now, after everything we've been through? We didn't stick it out this far just to admit defeat. We can't give another inch to the Abyss. We have to fight wow. them back. If not for our own sake, then at least for our fallen brethren! Very well, for Net- For Netland! We may be few in number, but our will remains strong. We will join the ranks That's of the Children of Echoes, and they will be stronger for it, however little. Okay, well, take care of yourselves. Don't worry, it'll be just like another Night War to more. We'll force the Abyss back if it's the last thing we do. Hmm. What's that? <gasps> oh no. Something gonna happen. A star? Wait, what? A star? Shoot! That creepy abyss thing is raining down oh, shit. Like substance again! It's shooting down stuff? That's over towards people of the Springs territory. From what I've heard, their defenses have been substantially weakened by the abyss invasion. Oh no, Morani. Still 51. Kachina, I think you're fine. Yeah. Should be your fine, I hope. Scout. No intel survived. Alright, but now this is the emergency. More pulse. Well, this is the war that you all wanted. It just says it doesn't feel like it's a nation of war. There's the war. If we are fighting wolves, I'll take 
sure of it. Let's play DPS. Ready for anything. Who's my f uh if I play Barbara DPS? <laughs> Got a job for me? Who's my third member? Um Damn I forgot. This is to avoid Oh Bennett. Uh, Bennett's my fourth. Alright, here we go. DPS Barbara now. <laughs> I hope this works. There we go. 23,000 only? Uh, 76! Okay, uh, that's something. Okay. But this is still not good now. Ah! Hold up! Oh! That was not good. Hold up. Give me some energy. This was not good. Hold on. We're not going down. There you go, 95,000. Okay. No! This is the this, right? this is just Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's just one battle report left and it gives a long list of places where the dangerous substance has been dropping. Uh, this is the first report we've had in ages, which means the messenger's job has become all but impossible. But there's nothing we can do about that. Our priority is to get to the next affected zone, even if we don't find we any survivors. Uh, maybe Maybe that strange substance over there won't be as rock solid as here. There's I a don't chance know. at least. This, I feel like it's gonna be the same now. Ah! <laughs> Dire! Disordered! We can't do anything. It's unbreakable now. Check the map. 71. Oh no. Ah! Um, well, oh no, this isn't good. Molani, where are you? Oh no. Insufficient intelligence. We're going back here again. Do we have to? I mean, uh, I'll change the team later, once we're there. Oh. Wow. This is what happens to Natlin. The whole Natlin. Isn't that another pylon? There are too many monsters! There are just too many! It's beyond anything we've seen before! You can't even beat those. The thing is already... This, this is the end, then. Why do we have to use the balloon again? <laughs> I guess to see everything okay that fine. Down there. Oh man, we're back here. Yeah, look at that. That's that's undestructible. What do we do? Oh. 
signs of the canopy. There are wolves all around the sides of the canopy even. No one is here now. There's supposed to be a voice here, isn't it? Okay, let's do this! It's not just Kinesh and Kachina, I think Traveler as well. It's not over. Well, we are going there. Kachina is there. Uh, even uh, Kinesh is there. Walani? I hope she's alright. Change character there. Oh, thank goodness, those people are still standing. But if you see everything, <laughs> this is where we were just now. Oh, no. All right, no more fooling around. An insurmountable problem, I presume. Let's go get ourselves some answers. What shall we do? I hope you're not pirate. That's destructible. This guy's here. Some Still no luck, huh? What on earth are these things? How are they invulnerable to attack? Yeah, at least with regular abyssal pylons, anyone with a vision can destroy him. But this thing, this is new. No one's seen anything like it before. It's like a part of that sky demon's body or something. <sighs> Whatever it is. It seems like it can spawn abyssal pylons. It spawns the pylons. A never-ending yeah. stream of abyss monsters. We're just no match for it. At this point, retreat looks like our best option. We're fighting a losing battle here. The stadium is our only hope. That's where the sacred flame is, which seems to be the one thing that well of abyssal energy is afraid of. The sacred flame. The pyro archon is guarding the flame. As long as that continues, we still have hope. Water and some snacks. You look like you need it. I'm guessing you've been supporting the fight all over the map. Sounds like you need a breather. We got enough people to hold our own here, and it's high time you took a break. Why don't you sit down and gather your strength for a minute? It's true. We've been fighting pretty much non stop. Traveler, you must be exhausted. What do you think? I guess we get things to worry about. I know. What is it? Uh, 
dark monstrosity is unbeaten. Gathering together might actually put a target on the Echo's back. That's true, though. Oh, you're right. Well, then guess we'd better go warn them. Um, it's your decision. If you want to set off right away, Paimon will come with you. We're going. We're going. Kachina's there even. Oh, no. That's not good. Yikes. What is this? Katina and Silona are there. Alright. Geo damage increase. Yeah, we're going there right now. We're actually going there right now. Katina and Silona will be there. I guess this is fine. Oh no, the monsters have already stormed in. Oh, they're fighting. Guys, you're alright. Huh. It's impervious to our attacks. We run a few of this. Evacuate. Okay. It's a good thing you did, otherwise we might not have made it in time. Kachina, he and I can deal with the remaining monsters in the Bessel Pylons. You should go catch up with the rest of the group before your parents start worrying about you. Stay safe, Kachina. Come on, let's get this done. Let's go. I've heard this will be 3 hours and I'm reaching the 3 hour mark soon. I don't like where this is going. We have those to worry about right there. Can we go there? Holy shit, what are those lasers? I can't go there. We actually have 5 people now. Alright. Ah! They are enhanced, too enhanced. They have this extra bar, like armor. What are you guys? This is order. There you go. Okay. And you. But then. Alright, let's go, let's go. Ah! You're a machine? You're the machine? Watch out! 
There you go. Evacuation complete callback. Yep, that's everyone. Okay. And the more casualties by the look of things. Yeah, this is uh Where's Katina? Good. We can evacuate shortly. I I appreciate your help. How are Extreme how are things out there? Dire. Pretty dire, I bet. <sighs> Some of the things I've seen, I I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out of my mind. Are we in Atlan doomed to this fate? I've never witnessed a full-scale abyss evasion before. I mean, I heard stories about the sky being painted black, but I always thought that was an exaggeration. Sky painted black. Malika has witnessed this all before, so she knew better than anyone the terror and despair an abyss evasion would bring. Yeah, and despite that, she's still facing it head on. We've had to abandon our homes and chase the dying light of day. And maybe the only time we'll see the dawn again is in our dreams. But as long as there's even a sliver of hope, I am not going to give up. We should catch up with the group. Rendezvous with the team that evacuated first. Oh yeah, Katina evacuated first. So I Damn, the music. So... Everyone's here. Kachina's here. Hey, yo, we were alright. Okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, oh, sh all the tribal territories. So, every other place as well. The flower feather plants is a disaster. What? Isn't it? Jaska's tribe? She said she was gonna take Rachel uh, That's not a good a sign. I don't like that. But how, right? Everyone's struggling just to defend yeah, themselves. How do do there so is no spare manpower. At this rate, it won't be long before even the stadium is indefensible. And with everyone congregating at the stadium, the Abyss forces will start converging there, too. Then there will be the last Then there will be a battle on a scale much larger than anything we've seen so far. On the bright side, at least my old injuries aren't playing up at the moment. It means I can actually join in with the fighting. The crux of the issue is that the heart of the Abyss itself has joined the invasion. That's a power we just can't match. The heart of the Abyss itself. I have every faith in the courage of our people. The Natlanese will never give in to despair. But still, the fact is, our lives are more fragile than our spirits. Traveler, Traveler Paimon knows what you're about to say. Yeah, but can we even go there? Yeah. I'm unsure he's getting tired from all this flying, but it doesn't matter. Wherever you go, Paimon's going too. Yep, we'll leave the children of Echoes to you guys. Flower Feather Clan, hang in there. We're coming. If there was ever a time to push ourselves to the limit, that time is now. Let's continue saving. All right, here's the thing. I thought Flower Feather Clan area is inaccessible to us. Wait, over there. Oh, they are above here. Okay, so they probably retreated to the stadium. Traveler, yeah. here, hurry! Ah. I don't like that. Uh, do we even need to fight these guys? Yeah, we have to. Quietly now. This one's got. Every single thing I have. Everybody stand back! Destroy the shield of the shield. Come on, how much shield do you have? If this shield thing is in the spiral piece, it's gonna be so nice. Come on, just die! There you go. Chaska, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Not pretty cheap. Uh, uh. What happened to her? She's covered uh, in this energy! A pure 
Wi-Fi. Let's go. Can we do it? We need to spam. No. Okay. Is it too late? Please save her. She's alright. Who's that, Koichi? Okay. Any better now? Koichi. Just, uh, I used to think mom and dad were crazy no, for adopting you. I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help mom and dad take care of you. I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when, well... We were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? We'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest. Even if it's and you'll gone. get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much, but now I realize now we understand. I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle, but it also left you in a constant state of agitation. The fact that we became family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. The same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down. And never hold back. <sighs> Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest cuckoo in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. <sighs> because that's who you are. And that's the sister I'm proud of. <sighs> Koichi! 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Chaska? Chaska, you're glitching. Now, it looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later, it disappeared. 
Koichi did say that Cheska needs to let off steam now and then, or she'll end up losing herself. But this time she wrestled back control. If only we were faster! Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before... Before it was too... You think we could have done better than this? Wait... What's happening to Cheska? How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning. And each step forward has been an agonizing one. Is this how the next Maybe hero she is would born? have been better off embracing her pain. But her journey goes on. And one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain and ascend over the dark clouds of her mind. What then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. My life suffering shall be my epitaph to remember the pain I endure and finally transcend it. <sighs> Let's take Koichi somewhere safer. Take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Mm. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chalska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Koichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice. There's no way it just ended right here. Oh god. It should we be need to hurry. Mm. Time for this war to end. That means, is she really going to use. Bring Kuichi back to the stadium then? Head to the center of the stadium to witness the gathering of echoes. Well, because we have everyone, isn't it? This world is full of it's unsolved probably, mysteries. It's probably another gathering of all the... It's as good as done. So I'm gonna be a one. Whoa, what a lineup. We'll be unstoppable. Yeah, let's get this over with. As long as I have my money and a healer. I won't hold you back. Right. Never mind, traveler. <laughs> I still don't... Unless travelers only get pyro power or something, that would be great. But I doubt we get it. What? Where? Wait, how do we get there? Yes, how do we get there? Go down? I forgot where are we. Isn't this Catherine area? 
guess we go down. Yeah, we go downstairs. Where's the stairs? Oh, I think it's... I'm lost, where are we? It's you two. Fantastic. I'm so grateful for all your... So many people in that land see it as an honor to fight the Abyss, but then they let the excitement get to their heads. You're right. It's important to fight, but it's also important to stay alive. Oh, you're the guy that we asked to... I, I shared your thoughts with my brothers in arms, and they were inspired too. So once again... Oh, well, good for you. Let's see the map for a while. It's still 71. I want to talk to everyone else. Anyone here is interactable? Parting ways. You, Ha! Huh, you're back. We're just glad you're okay. Oh, they're back at it again. It kills me not being able to do. So everyone that we saved out here, everyone who we didn't save, are not here. No, Archons, I'm out of my depths. I just wish I had someone with more expertise to turn to. Is there more? Oh, right. May the Wyop grant you peace, and may songs be sung of your life's journey. We give thanks for the gift of your life in us, and we look forward to meeting you again one day. And a world of wonder and beauty. This truly is warm. You too. I'm delighted to see you make it back safe and sound. Just keep our word, please. <laughs> I let my fear win for too long. Don't be so hard on yourself. They will live for... How do I say, I don't feel like reading all the dialogue of the NPCs that we saved. The Saurians I came back with were intent on following the other... That officially makes me the most useless member of the unit. Let's stop. This is a sacred flame in the stadium. Everyone, are you ready? So, the six heroes are here. A bitter war lies ahead. Our victory begins in each of your minds. So ignite the spirit of victory for me. May no further lives be lost. And no one else may to suffer the loss of their loved ones. Sivonin. As long as Morani. blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with the gaze of all Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Stone engraved in echoing peaks. Converge, disperse, and ashes be reborn. For flames born anew, and the blazing dawn. A hero scaled the volcano to seize yes, sir. the sun. Anointed with flames, she shone with the light of a thousand stars. So I just realized Kinich wasn't one of them. Huh. Now, guide me in my first step. Having foretold his oh. own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and, and send him off with this final tribute. 
Fred last. His wish is now fulfilled. Ah, there is Kinesh. I thought I thought Kinesh was in here. Oh, why did I talk to him? Okay, no voice. Yeah, my only four. My life suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured, and finally transcend it. Heroes of the ages, so our is moment in. has finally come. So Katina isn't. This, yeah, this is six. Katina isn't here. It was. Uh, anyway. Alright, anyway, let's see. One. Baptized by the churn fire. Bearing an ancient blessing. Knowing true power. And accepting a faith of devotion. We embrace the transcendent flame. Back. Oh, the music. That is an outright scary level of power. So, from now on, all warriors will be able to resurrect themselves using the sacred flame. That's right. No more casualties. It's time to wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. Now we have. Is it really infinite respawn? <laughs> and to reclaim our lost territory. Not just for the ancient names. Oh man. Everyone let's go, let's go. Uh, we'll come with you. I'm a traveler. I'm so grateful you got to us when you did. You gave Koichi the chance to say those words to me before the end. If I'd lost control out there in the wild, this counterattack might never have been possible. Probably best not to think about that. More importantly, how are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> not really. But now is not the time to deal with it. In the spirit of Vuka, I have to rise above it. The conflict and suffering in me are there to test my character. My struggle will make me stronger and make me the person Koichi believed I can be. All right, let's go show the Abyss what human beings are made of. They'll be sorry they messed with Natlan after we're through with them. How will this work? And the risk of this. Um, abyss tumor. We're going in. Bring it. Here's the echoes of the dolphin. Target point here. Oh. Oh, bad. Need to destroy this. This is the main thing. Oh, Can we destroy this? This is the main thing right now. Uh, how you do it? Don't focus on the head on! God damn it! What's wrong with you guys? 
Yeah. I'll do it myself. There we go. Now, finish it. Finish this thing. This thing! Boom! There we go. Okay. Now we can take out this. But we still have to break up this tunnel. Ooh. Where is, where is she? Oh shit, that's cool. Okay. Now, how do we destroy this? I guess the other pylons? Okay. To destroy the abyss Let's go. Now we can destroy it. Come on. All of us destroy this. No, don't ping. Don't you dare. Okay. Wow, so it's done. Okay. One down. It's reduced to 59 now. You can have a solid in there, okay. Oh, I see what we're up to. Okay. Hold on, can I change? I feel like, um... You know what, never mind. The Natlum characters are cool. He is muted. What are you talking about? <laughs> Done. Thank you, Mika. Bruh. I mean, he is already muted. Okay, another beast tumor. Ow. How did that get damaged? Backup has arrived. Alright, give him help. Benji, Sir Koichi. Hold up. What is this shield they have? Okay. I wanna destroy this. Ah! Oh! Uh -oh. no. Destroy! Oh, it's okay, you guys destroyed it. Okay. Come here, don't even miss that. Let's go! Boom, 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 Next. Yeah, this is good team. Okay, fighting back. It's 37. Alright, slowly going down. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to use her. What the hell was that? Okay. Come on, let's go. Over here, I'll send you up. It'll be quicker. Okay, everyone's safe. Granny, please go on ahead with the others. I just need Aurora some more time. I promise. I won't hold things up. Moron! Leave the vegetables and aphids behind, you dimwit! It's too dangerous! Nice. 
Yeah, my weaker can just destroy them with the power. Oh, okay. Destroy that thing. Hey, you're back. Let's go. Now, there you go, it's over. Seventeen. Okay. How can the Doctor Death be peace? Sure. Active monsters. Dentists. I'll go deal with the tumor. I'll go deal with the people of the springs too. We crushed it. The masters of the night wind are also safe. Should I go support the Flatware Feather clan? Things are still pretty rough over there. I'm already en route. No need. I just dealt with it. Already? But you were just in the stadium! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been itching to bash some heads in. Oh! Fair enough. Yansan, what should we do about the Collective of Plenty? Your home's a long ways away from the stadium. Oh, no need to worry. I just heard from Marisa. She says they're safe now. Plus, I always secure. Yeah! Their only game plan was to outnumber us, and that ain't gonna work now that we have the Ode of Resurrection on our side! Oh, no. We ain't gonna let them get away with that. Friends, let's gather at the stadium. Where our best tumors have descended. All near the stadium. Let's split up and take them out. Oh, we need someone to guard the main entrance. All right. This is the final battle. Let's go. What is this? Wow. <coughs> oh, let's go. Charge. Oh shit, it's not. Oh, what? Even Ruin Guards? How many abyssal things you have? Let's 
Now that was a winning a war, it feels like. Everyone, we are gathered here to celebrate a glorious victory. It is a victory forged by each and every one of us, and we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. We emerge victorious from another crisis to declare, our beloved Natlan is saved! Woo! All right! I must caution that this war is yeah, not yet not over. over yet. We have not destroyed our enemy, merely driven them further into the depths of the Night Kingdom. But the Abyss underestimated Natlan's forces, and they have suffered a devastating defeat. It will be a long time before they are able to pose a threat to us again. After making some preparations, I will launch my final counterattack. I shall strike them in their lair, and wipe them out for good. Oh, man. Wait, Archon, are you saying you're going alone? Yes. The abyssal energy there is too strong. Contact with it would be instantly lethal to anyone else. I'm sure you're all still fired up, and you must be eager to take the fight home to the enemy. But I must ask you to temper your ambitions. I will return victorious for all of us. Return victorious. It's kind of a shame that we can't join yeah. in with the final showdown. Please, look at the bigger picture. Thanks to every one of you, we have already secured an enormous victory. Tonight, we should celebrate to our heart's content. Uh, I guess if our lives are no longer at risk, things can basically go back oh, to yeah, normal, that, that, right? It's right there. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Beats having monsters everywhere. When the time comes, I will gather everyone here again. Now, let us also remember those who gave their lives oh, fighting for our nation. Yeah. Kuichi is one of them. Once the last dregs of the abyss are wiped out, I intend to give them the grand funeral they deserve. An ancient name could never record the many who we lost. But no hero of Natland should be forgotten. If, if I may, let's, uh, let's have a moment of silence for the fallen. Again, there was like how many people? That's like a thousand. Lastly, there is one more person I must thank for his extraordinary support in our time of need. Thanks, and that is the captain. Speaking in a personal capacity, I should like to offer my sincere congratulations on your victory. Well, everyone, please enjoy the victory feast. I hope it's a chance to relax your minds and rekindle your spirits. 
so that we may face what lies ahead with renewed vigor. Oh, wow. That was so cool, the, the actual war that happened just now. We have optional objectives. Oh. The war is over, right? So, uh... <laughs> There's still a long road ahead. For now. Ugh, the three of you are fine. You did a great job, Kachina. Oh, you're much more confident now. Seems like winning the pilgrimage gave you a real boost. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the no voice. I was kind of a down. I spoke to your mom and dad. They were singing your praises. <laughs> they said the world's your oyster now. How are things with the people of the Springs base? There are some casualties, but the overall mood is very positive. I reckon they'll start rebuilding pretty soon. Same situation for the children of Echoes. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it together. Let's hope that their sacrifice marks the beginning of a new age for Natlan. An age of unprecedented peace. Well, we passed the main one we had to talk to, but we talked with the others first. Yen San, Kili, Shen Akka. I don't know how he's still that. Unless you want to get punched in the face. What is it with you, Ahau? Why are you so incapable of being nice? It's a bunch of great sweat trouble. The messages are the worst affected. Okay. The collective of plenty was the furthest from the abyss's entry point, so they didn't have as many monsters to deal with. From what I hear, they got off relatively unscathed. But it might have been a different story if Chaska hadn't gotten there when she did. That's good to hear. All well that ends well. <laughs> now you're eating the grapes. Alright. Sure. Okay. So. And here is the captain and all around. I must congratulate you on your efforts during this war. I'm told you have proven yourself to be an outstanding adventurer and warrior. You remind me of the princess. Similarities in your approach are striking. Especially when you told me you wanted to win. I hope you will see her soon. Thank you. Hey, Auron! How are the Masters of the Nightwing doing? Granny C. Lolly's been there the whole time, and she's a tough one. I think we should be fine. I'm sure there'll be some patching up to do, though. That's a job for the young folks. I should probably head back so I can pitch in. Do you need support from the Fatui? Well, probably not. There are a lot of older folks in our tribe, and I suspect they would find your comrades' presence a little distressing. Right, because often they look like a bunch of intimidating thugs. Mm -hmm. Well, also in my tribe, excessive use of elemental energy is bad for your eyesight. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> I could talk to them again. I'm still somewhat in disbelief that a united people prevailed <laughs> against the abyss. Do I sense some regret in your words? A degree of regret is inevitable. But above all, I feel profound admiration. Okay, let me talk to them again. I forgot about them. Uh, yeah, the three of you. Oh, wow, if you're making uh, candles, I have some materials you can use. They're in the warehouse. Should have plenty to spare. Ah, good point. Wait, Malani, you're not in the time. Oh, wow, if you're... You're not even... Ah, good okay. point. <laughs> Alright, and where was the other one just now? You too. Everyone else is enjoying the celebration. But a house still being as aggravating as ever. I'm not okay. Okay, well done. Let's go to... To... Margarita. Ah. Welcome. You seem a little out of sorts. Are you just tired or...? I guess I am. You know, when I was...
was up there in the sky, I could see all of Natland stretching out below me. People everywhere, giving everything they had for a chance at victory. I just... If only I'd been quicker. That's what I was Maybe they wouldn't have... Just now. And Koichi. Mm. Maybe she'd still... <sighs> I'm sorry. Now is not the time for that. Um, fruit juice. <clears throat> fruit juice, right? Uh, make a large? Yeah. <sighs> True. My 500 year plan has almost come to fruition. Just one last step to go. Namely, my final battle against the Abyss. The battle is second nature to me, so... I'm not feeling a huge amount of pressure. It was so awesome. The way you exploded that thing in the sky with one almighty punch! One punch. Are you always gonna have that kind of power from now on? Oh, uh... That was the Divine Throne unleashing my full potential. And it was only temporary. I can't wield that power for any length of time. My body wouldn't be able to handle it. It was the Divine Throne unleashing... Likewise, the amplified power of the Ode of Resurrection was also temporary. From now on, it's back to ancient name bearers only. The Night Warden was are over for the future? Correct. We dealt the Abyss a critical blow. So for the time being, it's too weak to sustain regular invasion. I hope the people will be able to enjoy this period of peace. Or rather, assuming all goes to plan, eternal peace. So, this nation will be a nation of peace once the war is over, huh? We've had centuries of war with the Abyss, and it's high time we brought that chapter to a close. Anyway, there's something I've been wondering about. I know you've been at the center of some major events in other nations too, and fought many powerful foes. In this war, you were in the thick of it once again, dashing around tirelessly, supporting the fighting on all fronts. So tell me, what drives you to do this as a mere traveler passing through? Why risk life and limb for a cause that's not your own? I want it to see people suffer. I cut turn a blind eye to injustice, so I can look back on my journey with a clear conscience. Oh man, first and second is my main answer, three is just funny. Uh, you know, it's that mindset that distinguishes the heroes in every story. They're the natural protagonists. Natural protagonists. What I'm really trying to say is, I would love for you, with your extraordinary talent and your sense of justice, to join me in this final step. You and I together, finally putting an end to the ever-looming threat of the Abyss. But I also don't want to take advantage of your good nature and readiness to help others. The final battle will be very dangerous, and you have the rest of your journey to consider. I'm sure you must be weary. Sleep well tonight. Let's talk again tomorrow in the speaker's chamber. I'll give you more details on the final battle, and then... I hope to hear your verdict. Okay. Keep chatting or return to your room to rest. My mind is still flooded with scenes from the war. I can't get the images out of my head. Maybe I need another drink. Okay, so there are more options? I think there isn't. Yeah, we did everything else already. The optionals are done. So I guess it's rest time. Holy shit, man. What is this act? Alright. How is it now? Yeah, they're not here. Everyone left. I mean, we could just teleport. Why did I even bother going out? <laughs> oh.
The one thing was actually awesome. I would like to see what if I pick the other option. Or if even help out the you know the other guys instead of just the NPCs. You can actually choose to help the captain, Kachina, Molani, Kinich. So yeah, why am I even bothering? Just go here. <sighs> All right, we're here. Let's see, Molly. Hey, traveler, Paimon. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, I just teleported. <laughs> hey, Easy, Lolly. What's up? Listen up. I have something really important to tell you. Oh yeah, only Sid Lolly and Silona knows. Oh boy, here we go. What? Are Are you serious? Natlan must pay the price for Maweka's use of the Ruler of Death's power. That price is death. And only Maweka's death can clear the debt. I had thought that the Ruler of Death might have a change of heart after seeing the people of Natlan come together and fight so bravely. Even now that the war's over and the threat to Natlan is gone, it looks like that death is still set in stone. I had to know your thoughts. I want to save her, but I can't do it alone. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Thank you for standing up for us. There's clearly something special about you, so... If anyone has a chance of defying the rules, that would be you. Oh, and please don't breathe a word of this to Maweka. Okay. I'm sure she's well aware of the cost of using the Divine Throne's power. But if she finds out that anyone else knows, it could ruin our chances to help. Got it. Mom's the word. Alright, that the was word. the last major item on my to-do list. Now, since I've come all this way, I think it's finally time for a weller and drink. Uh, go, go easy though, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I said a drink. That means just one. Right, remember that you said a drink. <laughs> Okay, this is probably the last part. Oh man, it's almost four hours. I probably uh been doing it very slowly then. <laughs> All right, you little munchkin. If you keep pestering me, I'm gonna have to get serious. Is this that thing again, the memory thing, or whatever? I, I get a hundred kids a day telling me they want to be the next Pyro Archon. Why should I train you? Oh uh, yeah, this is begging isn't gonna accomplish anything. No one can predict the future, and unless you have some exceptional jaw-dropping talent I'm unaware of. I can shoot those cornflakes in your kitchen from right here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. You couldn't make that shot from all the way over here. Wait, hold on, you could hurt someone with that. Well, I'll be. You made the shot. The science of the canopy raising tough. That's some real skill you got there, little lady. Maybe you really will be Pyro Archon one day. When she was still young, huh? Oh. Oh, we're walking as a West Mavuka again. Wait, we can't press C, right? Yeah, just to be sure. We are playing as her again. Damn, this is the second time. Like, we still can't play Marika, right? But see this? I'm the first one of us If Marika dies, and it's not just any ancient name, but Mollypo. Okay, no. If you ask me nicely, there's still time to join my team for the pilgrimage, you know. <sighs> no need to scowl. You lost and I won. It's no big deal. You want me to be happy for you when your turn comes, right? So cheer up. I'll get my own ancient name soon enough. And it'll be an even better one than yours. Wow. <laughs> oh, really? Well, good luck with that. <laughs> what ancient name could beat Molly Poo in our tribe? The Archon. <laughs> Unless... Surely 
You don't need to on cozy. Is that it? walk as her maybe in the next hour conquest we play as her but she dies no way man. there's no way <sighs> that was fantastic i can't believe i beat you in a wrestling match for once One, two, can't be more than a few days now until you're officially made the pyro archon <laughs> imagine me trying to schedule a wrestling session with you after that excuse me pyro archon but would you be able to take a day off from running the nation to wrestle with me? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the Pyro Archon inherits the knowledge stored in the Sacred Flame. And apparently it can change your personality. Uh -huh. I can't help but feel a little worried. <laughs> worried that you won't be able to beat me in a wrestling match anymore? Why would I be worried about that? <laughs> Never mind. Clearly I'm just overthinking things. Why would you forget about me just because of some new job? Even if that job happens to be Archon. <laughs> Come on, one more round. <laughs> so that what I'm seeing now is like the sacred flame power that she used up there. After the darkness will come the dawn. This is kind of long, though. No one fights alone. shall burn bright while the losers must turn to ash that's the line Ronova oh shit this is the road rule of death I have done what is required of me the rules are now written into the night kingdom and this will help you to stand against the abyss it is still not enough Shabalan okay. all this can do is give my people courage it will not see us through a true catastrophe. If you are to make the Natlanese alone bear the consequences of a broken world, you will have to bring more to the bargaining table. You are the greediest human I have ever met, and the fiercest negotiator. No other would seriously ask to borrow my power. My domain is death, and its power comes at a great price. The question is, are you prepared to pay? I need that power. Only oh, a hero can truly wield it. And Hades heroes are not afraid of dying. No. A fear of death is ingrained in all living things. If the wielder of this power cannot conquer their fear, countless innocent lives will be claimed in their stead. For only then can the price be paid. Those are the rules. Mine is a nation that will not yield to the abyss. And it will certainly not yield to your rules. As their culture and civilization is transmitted through the generations and their faith grows, the people will go from strength to strength and reach heights that even I cannot dream of. Very well. I shall agree to help you. But I am merely a shade. 
And I do not have as much freedom to do as I please as you might think. She's a shade. Bonova is a shade. Mm. Then what do you propose? Keep this a secret. If I am questioned about it, I will deny all involvement and claim that treacherous Shibalanke stole my power. That will not be a problem. Thank you. I am glad we could reach an agreement. And... Come in. As you know, I've asked you to come here to discuss the task of wiping out the Abyss. Oh, but first, any progress on the ancient name? We received the gift. <laughs> I'm surprised she was willing to help you, and by extension me. I'm very grateful to her. Oh, wait, hold on. Wasn't the whole point of the ancient names for winning that huge battle? Why would the travelers still need one by this point? Yeah, that, that's why he wants me, us to join the final battle. So if we die, we can be revived again. But what about Mavuika? That's right. The Abyss has retreated to the depths of the Night Kingdom, a place that has long since been corrupted by Abyssal energy. If we don't finish them off and restore the Ley Lines, the threat they pose to Natlan will remain. The battle we fought yesterday, we may one day have to fight again. This is the fate Natlan has always been resigned to. For thousands of years, we have struggled on the brink of a looming darkness and never known true peace. But this time, I want to break the cycle and free us from this fate for good. With the Sacred Flame, I can protect myself from the Abyssal Corruption, but beyond that, you are the only other person who can resist it. If your ancient name can't be forged, I will go alone. But That's if it why. can, I'd really love your help. Not completely. After all, the Night Kingdom is still plagued by Abyssal Corruption. But when I used the power of the Divine Throne, it dispelled a lot of that corruption. Plus, your ancient name is a special case, so the Lord of the Night will take special care of you. In short, the Ode of Resurrection still has a number of limitations, but I can promise that it will work reliably on you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are we forgetting something here? What about Paimon? What's her place in all this? Yeah, I wanted to stay behind. What? <laughs> you mean we'll be separated? The Abyss is extremely devious. If you two go there together, you can bet they'll make Paimon their primary target just to put us in an impossible position. Sure, well, we can't be Paimon in. Paimon wasn't that worried, but now she's petrified. What will you do without me? I'll be a complete mess, but only for a short time. Okay, well, mm -hmm. Paimon needs to think about this because you're really asking a lot of her, but... We'll give Paimon some time and she'll do her best to rise to the challenge. I greatly appreciate it. Everyone in Natlan knows how important this final battle is. You will be remembered and revered long into the future, until the end of time. If you have any other questions, yes, have... please ask away. Leave this speaker's chamber before that. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Aftermath of the war, false cut, and the strange fragments. The six heroes, the captain. The work of rebuilding is underway, and people are flocking to join the effort. With everyone rallying together, I'm sure it won't be long before there's no trace left of the damage done by this war. The healing process, on the other hand, uh, that's a bigger obstacle to overcome. Many are grieving, and there's simply no replacing the ones we lost. As the sun rises once more, and we rediscover the ability to believe in the future, we must never forget their sacrifice. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. Mm. False sky. I have heard this expression before, but I think this was the first proof of its existence. Yeah, I think there's a lot of investigating to be done to understand what the fragments behind the sky are and why they were hidden in the first place. However, from what the Adventurer's Guild tells me, neither the split sky phenomenon nor the fragments have ever been observed in any other nation. 
My guess is that the Heavenly Principles wants them kept a secret. Hmm. I just hope they don't cause me any trouble over it. Oh, you should be fine. We did something much crazier back in Fontaine and we're still here. Yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. Anyway, the line I'm going yeah, with for the masses is Astronomical fire. Anomaly. And I don't expect much of a backlash. The line I'm going is an Astronomical Anomaly? Meanwhile, we can look into it at our own pace. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. That wasn't their souls we saw, but a snapshot of them in time. All the work of the ancient name engravers 500 years ago, who made some special modifications to their name. Their souls returned to the Night Kingdom long ago, and will have been reborn in Natland since, albeit in a different form. For all we know, they may have already lived many new lives by now. And so, even though we will never meet again, they will always be by our side in one way or another. I think that gives another layer of meaning to the phrase, no one fights alone. As I've said, if you have any other questions, please ask away. We have a temporary alliance, but I can tell that saving Natlan is not his only goal. Yeah, Pilot still doesn't get why saving Natlan would be so important to him in the first place. Unless he's just a good guy who wants to avoid another Conria. But somehow Paimon doubts it's that simple. Ah, uh, it's not that simple. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much. Based on all the interactions we've had with him and knowing more about his background, I have a lot of respect for him. I don't think he has any ill intentions. <sighs> no? We should focus on the final battle. As I've said, right. if you have any other questions... But it's not the other doctor plus yet. So... What is it left? Let's leave. And now what? That was a domain sound. The Outlander with deep ties to the Slayer Jars. And this time... Okay. He is... Alone. The captain is back here. Does this mean the captain is still going to do the thing, or...? The power that the Pyro Archon used to strike back at the Abyss came from the ruler of death. From what I know of her rules, she will demand okay, death in return. This. How do you know this? I see. So, the ruler of death sent you on a long journey. Wait, what? Natland still has a final battle to fight. And I too have a final foe to face. For the sake of those countless lost souls, and the hope for Natland's future, I need your help. Wait, what? What now? A sense of cutscene, or... I don't think it's a cutscene. No, it's not a cutscene. What is this? Oh, this is the... 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 Ceremony for the funeral. Okay, it is the end. But what was that? Dense as a forest, written by those who mourn them. You see familiar names on it. Uchama. Kuichi. We lost six people that we recognize. Oh, it's dead. 
Oh, this is that place. This is the weak point for this thing. Oh, that's what this is. Wow. Okay, that was awesome, man. The, especially the war thing. But wow. What? Oh wait, seventy-five. Okay, this is not done, but this is done. Yes, give me the five hundred. Thank you. Oh, exactly, that's my reaction right now. Alright guys, I'm ending this, this recording here. It's 4 hours, I was expecting 3, but it's 4. Holy shit, I dragged the, the, the video I guess along. Huh? But that was awesome, the war thing was so cool. Right, I'm going to sleep now, it's almost 4 in the morning. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.